You're now listening to the Wandering Buffalo podcast with your hosts, Andrew Chang and Justin Goddard. Hello and welcome to the Wandering Buffalo podcast. My name is Andrew Chang and alongside me is my co-host Justin Goddard. Tonight, we have some exciting news to start off with, Justin. The Wandering Buffalo podcast is now part of the Built in Buffalo family. I'm super stoked about being a part of the network and to be affiliated with some great shows such as The Windchill Factor, All Day Buffalo, Buffalo on the Brain, Bill's Ology, The Buffalo Blueprint, The Buffalo Corner, Halftime Adjustments, The Lowdown, First Things First, and Monday Night Mafia. There's plenty of content on built in buffalo so definitely check them out subscribe to them you can find us on their page and on their social media but you can always find us as well by looking up the wandering buffalo podcast on youtube spotify other podcasting platforms and even on social media uh, and if this is your first time listening to our podcast uh, my name is andrew chang and alongside me again is my co-host justin goddard our podcast is really an average joe's kind of vibe we're not experts we don't claim to be experts nor do we think we are and what we really want out of our show is to get you on it so we want you on our podcast for extended interviews where we can just you know have that you know let's chill in the garage and talk bills football kind of vibe right justin yeah that's what we're going for and uh just you kind of started off, but I just wanted to kind of touch on just how jazzed up I am right now. Um, it was a great opportunity uh, to team up with Built in Buffalo. M- met a couple of the guys, um, just a couple of really great guys. The conversations were great, and really excited to meet some of the other uh, players on the team. Mm-hmm. Maybe get them on our shows, jump on their shows, and just really spread the Bills conversation. It's just always great getting different viewpoints and having so many outlets to be able to reach out to now. It's it's just really exciting. Yeah, I agree. If it, it just seems like yesterday that we started this podcast and now we're here with other people who have similar interests. So I'm just excited that we're not alone. <laughs> Nor well, I'm, we were never really alone, but you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, anyways. We're going to dive into our episode tonight, and we were originally going to do a Bill's schedule kind of breakdown and our reactions from it, but it just seems like everywhere we look, that's what everyone's talking about, so we're going to do something a little different. Tonight, we're going to do a Buffalo Bills trivia night, so what's going to happen is our executive producer has come up with some questions, and we have a special guest to read those questions to us, and... uh, we're going to see who knows the Bills better, Justin or me. And if you're listening, maybe you know the Bills better than both both of us, and you can brag, brag about it to us on social media or whatever. Um, <laughs> but let's dive into some Bills-related news. As I mentioned, the Bills schedule was released, and there's a lot to dissect from it. However, we're going to talk about that next week, as I just mentioned. But all I can say for right now, Justin, is I'm feeling pretty good about it. Excuse yeah. me while I knock on some wood a couple times. <laughs> yeah, knock on a lot of wood. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I think the schedule is lining up pretty nicely. A um, bunch of primetime games in there, which is great for the organization. As I've become an old man, as a football fan, I really like my Sunday at one routines. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're gonna have to figure out switching it up a little bit. Make sure uh, we're in front of the TV. Yeah, for sure. I I remember last year when we had all those primetime games, and it seems like people are kind of upset with the fact that we only have four primetime games this year. But to be honest, I think four is a lot. Now, I don't understand how a team like San Francisco has five and we have four, but, you know, whatever. Um, but, hey. It's a great time to be a Bills fan, and it's an exciting period in our lives, for sure. For sure. Anyways, moving on. The Bills have signed the following free agents. Cornerback, Elijah Griffin. Quarterback, Nick McLeod. Tight end, Quentin Morris. 
safety Tariq Thompson, offensive lineman Cyrus Tuliti, and wide receiver Trey Walker. I might have mispronounced uh, Cyrus's last name, and I'm so sorry. I'm bad at pronouncing names. Uh, Justin, what are you? How how do you feel about that uh, poll of free agents? Um, so the the one that intrigues me the most is Elijah Griffin. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I was kind of surprised that he went undrafted. I'm thinking maybe a year or two down the road, this guy has a chance to to really make a name on this roster, uh, especially. You know, the only two cornerbacks we have locked up under contract beyond this year right now are uh, Dane Jackson and Trey White. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's a – any cornerbacks we bring in that, you know, add a little something to the room that we can get a, a set of eyeballs on for a year before we start having to make some difficult decisions, I'm all on board for. Um, the the rest of the guys, I, I kind of have to do a, a little bit more research on them. Um but, you know, camp bodies, we're going to get up to a 90-man roster and have to cut down from there. So it'll be interesting to take a look at these guys. Yeah, and correct me if I'm wrong, but when you and I did our mock drafts before the NFL draft, I had them taking wide receiver in the first round who, you know, that didn't happen. And you had them taking a quarterback in the first round, and that didn't happen. And it seems like in the free agents' uh, frenzy, our undrafted free agent pickup frenzy that we know Brandon Bean double dipped on the cornerbacks and got another wide receiver. So in a way, he kind of was thinking about us, right, Justin? Yeah, and it kind of <laughs> it kind of fits a, a Bean schematic game plan uh, where you see um, we had we have Cam Lewis uh, who was undrafted. You had Levi Wallace that was undrafted. Taron Johnson, if I'm not mistaken, was a sixth round pick. And you got Dane Jackson, who is a seventh round pick, and uh, kind of their their whole philosophy since they've gotten to Buffalo was kind of they found Trey to be that elite cornerback one, mm-hmm. and the the second guy has kind of just been, you know, an average starter in the league, and we've had top three defenses with that philosophy. So, you know, these these value undrafted free agents and players that you can get some performances out of on the cheap if you can keep getting you know consistent defenses doing it that way i'm good with it i i would love to see you know another elite cornerback opposite of trey white and just see what that could do for our defense but i I fear that that's never going to (laughs) happen well yeah you, you never know but in terms of value these these are the best kind of value you know undrafted free agents top of the tier and value wise all right moving on the bills announced that boogie basham tommy doyle marquez stevenson rashad wild goose and jack anderson have all signed their rookie contracts and they're all four-year contracts but it seems like Rousseau, hamlin and brown haven't agreed to terms so that kind of reminds me of you remember when dawson not got drafted and he signed his rookie contract super late Justin, do you know why something like this could happen? Like, what's your insight? So, honestly, this is something that I've always kind of wondered about. If anybody's listening and has the answer to the question, I would I would love it explained to me a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as I really understand with, with, like, the draft picks, is it's kind of like a sliding scale, and it, it's all pretty much, you know, other than some fine details to be ironed out, pretty much like a sliding scale, and it's to me seems like it should be pretty straightforward so i don't have the answer uh i've been trying to kind of get some more information on that and i'm hitting some dead ends so we will get that answer and we will put it out there but i don't don't really have it right now yeah it just seems like there's a lot of behind the scenes and layers to that multiple reasons that we're just not privy to and that's okay because at the end of the day they're going to be buffalo bills and I'm excited about that. <laughs> All right, moving on. The Bills added two linebackers, signing Joe Giles Harris and Mike Bell, as well as an offensive lineman, Steven Gonzalez. Camp bodies? Likely camp bodies uh, to me. Um, what, I, what I have seen a lot of this offseason is 
um, obviously with some of the free agents they've brought in, it looks like they're they're really trying to solidify some depth at linebacker. Mm-hmm. Um, we we saw Edmonds and Milano hurt early last year, hurt at the same time, and the drop off between them and what we have behind it um, was a bit eye opening. So mm-hmm. bring in every linebacker you can to compete and see what shakes out. But I think it's definitely kind of camp bodies. I think they like what they have in Terrell Dodson. Mm -hmm. And I think it'd probably be pretty hard to supplant him on the roster for what they think of him. But bring in all the competition you can and see what shakes out. Yeah, one last thing I want to highlight is that when you look at the undrafted free agents and the two linebackers and the offensive linemen that I just mentioned, Brandon Bean has brought in two cornerbacks, two offensive linemen, a tight end, a safety, a wide receiver. Oh, yeah, and just a wide receiver outs and those two linebackers. So he's targeting the depth at the cornerback position, which I was surprised that he didn't really go after outside of Rashad Wild Goose in the sixth round. And he's also looking at tight end. Right, everyone was kind of on the fence. Like, do we take someone for the tight end? You know how I feel about safety depth. So it may. I I'm happy that we got some safety depth with Demar Hamlin and uh, Tariq Thompson. Two off. Two more additions to offensive line. So that just kind of reaffirms Brandon Bean's uh, belief to stack the trenches. A wide receiver and two linebackers again. Pretty. I, I like where I like these moves. They're they're yeah. they're not headliners, but they're. I think uh, Trey Walker has some some serious work cut out for him to make any noise in that wide receiver room. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, historically they they carry six receivers for the season, and you're talking top four are easily roster locks. So that that's the training camp battle I'm looking forward to the most. I think that wide receiver battle is going to be intense. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I, I, I'm just trying to, like, you, you know that meme where that girl is, like, looking off to the distance and the equations are drawn up around mm. her face? That's me right now when I think about the uh, 53-man roster. I'm just like, what is going on? How is this going to happen? <laughs> I just don't know. Yeah. But that that's what makes this exciting. A lot of good players are going to get cut, and it's a good problem to have, right? It's a problem to have with a successful team. You know, you you pretty much have the whole same roster as last year, and you still want to be always working to upgrade and bring people in the building that can make you better. So at, at a certain point, tough decisions are going to have to be made. And, you know, I remember all these years where I would see, like, the cut list coming out and be like, man, I really like that guy. I'm oh, surprised yeah. he's gone. And, and, like, for so many years it was like uh, just – throw a name out there like nick easley you know the or brandon riley the wide receiver brandon riley yeah. you know the 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 training camp hero and when you project a guy like that into this equation it's like you know who's going to be the cut it's it's not like some street free agent you never really heard of it's going to be it's going to start being significant players so yeah it'll be interesting yeah or you know, i mean you know let's say john brown's still on the team is he someone? I mean, he did. He basically did get cut, right? <laughs> like, right. So, yeah, we'll see. Anyways, let's uh, transition into some trivia. And to help us out with this topic, we have a very special guest, the voice of the podcast herself, Claire in the flesh. How are you doing tonight? Hi, everyone. I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me on the show. No problem. Hi, Claire. You always uh start us off strong each week so it would only seem yeah it only seemed right to bring you on so you have some questions you and jake kind of came up with some questions i believe so care to explain the rules and what we're doing yeah of course i take no credit for creating any of these questions it was all your producer um but i will be the facilitator of this little game I'll be asking a series of questions, and whoever buzzes in first will have the first crack at the answer. And if you don't get it correct, then it will default to the other person. You'll each get three chances. If no one can get it right after three chances, I will reveal the answer. 
and whoever has the most amount of points at the end wins. All right. We should have had a belt made up for this. <laughs> All right. Is everyone ready? Yeah. What? What do we? What do we win? Who? What does the winner get? I think we need to get a WWE style belt. <laughs> So when I win that puppy, I can put it right over my shoulder every time we record. And you got to look at All it. Right. Hey. <laughs> well, you're. I'm not sure if that's in your guys' budget, but we could work towards that. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. You're well. He, we'll put, we'll make it like this. Justin's uh, a little in the older demographic of Bills fans, and I'm in the younger portion of the <sighs> Bills fans. So we're going. We're going age. We're going age, old, older versus young for here. <laughs> I'm like two years older than you. No, you're not. <laughs> so just, I just need go this. with it. Just go oh, with it. Oh, all right. You're two years older than me. <laughs> sure. Well, regardless, you guys will get bragging rights, and you can brag about it all over your social media. And maybe you'll have a challenger, and you can invite them to, to challenge you on the next show. All right. Andrew, gentleman's bet. What? Case of Colshies. Case of Colshies. You're on, brother. Handshake. All, All right, right, let's do this, boys. All righty. Are we ready to rumble? I am. First question. Oh, yeah. We're going to go, you know, easy to hard. Okay. In what year were the Buffalo Bills founded? Oh, I, th I, think, I, I think I saw Justin's buzzer first. I'm at the top. Uh, 1960. Damn. Good job. All right. A point for Justin. Let's go. I was close, though. I was, like, right there to get in that. Yeah, it's on the tip of your tongue. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> All right. Are we ready for the second question, boys? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. What stadium did the Buffalo Bills first call home? All right, I saw Andrew's hand go up first. I'm Take it away. Justin, I don't know how you didn't know this, but I'm surprised I, you I, weren't there to help build it. <laughs> oh, my I, God. Wow. <laughs> no, uh, so, so I was hovering, but I, I was not hovering I'm, in the right location. I'm so. pretty sure it's called the Rock Pile. Oof. <laughs> eh. Oh, shut the All door. righty, Justin. <laughs> Would be the war memorial. Oh my God! Yeah, you're right. Very good. Yeah, All right, so Justin's got a two to nothing lead. Only because you're asking questions in the 1960s. So like, how age before beauty? I... <laughs> <laughs> yes. As soon Looks as it... fade, but wisdom does not. As soon as I said rock hey. pile, I thought to myself, "No, that's that's not right. You're wrong." Yeah. You know, as confident as I am with these answers, I'm like. Am I am I overlooking something? Am I about to sound stupid on my own show? <laughs> now be confident. I'm not doing too hot on our very first uh, Built in Buffalo podcast. <laughs> He's but just that's got okay. performance anxiety. It's okay. It's like the <laughs> test anxiety. Right. All right. Question number three: Who is the head coach in the Bills? Four Super Bowl appearances. You got to get on that buzzer. <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> That's going to be Marv Levy. Very good, Justin. Hey, hey, she didn't even say you got the question. First, I know, so but I, mean, I feel like that was an honor system, oh, and the, you deferred to Justin, so I deferred to him too. I was playing by the rules, and I was waiting for you to officiate, Claire. So I'm, I'm sorry. I got excited. Um, I, I thought mean, we, I was going to say Justin. I know. I, know. I promise. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know I get excited. I'll be on my behavior. Alrighty, question number four. Justin's still in the lead. Will Andrew get a point? Let us find out. Big yikes. I come alive in the second half. Don't worry. <laughs> Who was Hopefully. the first Bills pick in the 2021 NFL draft? Oh, Andrew! Come on, Gregory Rousseau. Ah, very good. Recent. Uh, a beast of a human. A lengthy. Yeah, man. I think I think like I would make up maybe like it would take three of me to make one of him. How tall are you? I'm just talking weight wise too. <laughs> <laughs> but like, how tall are you? I'm about like five two and three quarters. Okay, I say I'm five sure. three. Isn't he like 
six eight or something like that. Yeah, he's like super tall. And like two seven. Two something. Two, yeah. Yeah, so he's like two and a half of you in multiple ways. Basically. <laughs> But All he's right. like two and a half of Justin and me in multiple ways, too, so <laughs> you're not alone. So, Andrew is on the board with one point, Justin with three, and we are on to question five. Which former Bills quarterback went to Harvard University? Oh, my God. I was right there. God. All right. I believe I saw Justin's hand first. Go on and take you know, it. I'm not super confident on this one. Um, I feel like they should have mentioned this a time or two when he was playing for us on the broadcast, but that would be Ryan Fitzpatrick. Very yeah. good. That is correct. You know, they just never talk about the fact that he went to Harvard on broadcasts. All right. So at this point, we're going to move into the medium questions. Okay. Are you boys ready? Does anyone need a beer break? <laughs> no, no, no. We're good. Oh, wait, what's ready. the score? So Justin has four. Andrew okay. has one. Okay. Question number one for the medium. Who was the Bills' first pick in the 2013 NFL draft? God. Oh, big yikes. Hold on. 2013. I gotta like, think real hard real quick. Um... I gotta think about where it was. I do see a hand up from Justin. Justin, would that you like so to I reveal can... your answer? That was really just so I could get in first. Um... You, I'm gonna give you three <laughs> seconds to respond then. You can't falsely um, buzz the buzzer. Three, yeah, I'm gonna go... Two. CJ Spiller. Oof. Sorry, buddy. Wrong. Right here. All right, so I get a crack at it. Ooh, you get a uh... crack at it. Yes, Andrew. It's not CJ. Um, it's not CJ. 2013. 20. Oh, man. Are you also counting backwards all the, yeah, all the I, drafts? Yeah, I'm like having such a huge brain brain fart. See, this is, you all make fun of me for being an old man, but this is when I need a pen and paper. In my head, I want to say like... I don't. I know this isn't right, but I want it. I'm just gonna say it anyway. Is it Eric Wood? It is not. Oh. <laughs> Cliffhanger. Alrighty, so I'm gonna give you a little hint, courtesy of your wonderful producer Jake. This player went to the Raiders after his time in Buffalo. Oh. oh. Yeah, I got it. Raise your hand. I need to see a hand. I'm getting there. I wasn't hovering. <laughs> All right, Justin. It's EJ Manuel. No. Very good. Oh, what? <laughs> I was thinking that was 14. I, yeah, I thought he was like so later. 14, so 14 was Sammy Watkins. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you know I can't what? attest anything. You'll have to double check and fact check <laughs> your producer. No, that that's, so, yeah. that sounds about right. I, I did it the wrong way to start with. I was thinking 2011 was Maven, and then I was trying to go forward from there, and that, that was a mistake. I'll be honest. Whenever I th Outside of like the most recent drafts, it's not been a great memory. So for me to think this far back, I'm just like, oh, God. Like, yeah, you were just a wee little lad. What did we do wrong? Like... I was so hyped when we drafted EJ Manuel. I, you know, I actually was not. And it wasn't because of his tape or anything like that. My friend Joe, he, he kept going around. It's like, EJ Manuel, the manual to success in Buffalo. And I was oh, like, that is I've... the lamest thing I ever heard. And he did not live up to the manual of success. I promise you that. No. He, I'm pretty sure he's like an ACC like reporter, right? Uh, I don't know. Either way. I don't know what he's up to these days. Not the manual of success, and obviously I'm not learning anything from him either because you got like a five-point lead on me, if I'm not mistaken. No, you got like you a You are point. correct. He's got a five-point lead. Oh, wait, so he's got well, a Well, he's at five points. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah. he's so got four a four-point lead. Okay, okay. 
All right. So, gentlemen, at this time, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back, okay? All right. All right. Welcome back, everyone. We're going to wrap up our trivia night with the remaining questions. The standings are Justin with a pretty big lead at five and poor Andrew at just one. <sighs> So sorry, buddy. Justin's got some. Justin's said, got quick fingers. It's not fair. <laughs> he said he's a second half player. Well, let's see who really comes alive during the second he's half. Setting it up for his MJ moment. I'm ready. All right, get your buzzers ready. I'm going to be asking question number two in the medium section. Okay. Which wide receiver stripped the football from defensive tackle Leon Lett in Super Bowl 27? All right, I saw Justin's what? hand first. That's a very specific question, so I'll be impressed if you get it right. Don Beebe. Oh! <laughs> Color you impressed. That is correct. Oh, you know what? I did know that because they make a big deal of it. Like, never give up on a play. And then Don Beebe, like, tomahawk cho uh, chops him right before he gets in the end zone. And the score was, like, so out of reach at that point. I think it was, like, a 20 like 20 to 30 point deficit and he still went for it yeah that's like the dk metcalf had like the the modern day version of that last year yeah yeah against buddha baker yeah. but in my head when you said super bowl 27 i thought you were just asking a suit like an ex player on a super bowl team i was like that the bills weren't in that super bowl in my head i was just like that is a medium question that is <laughs> pretty specific that that's got to be a hard one that's got to be like extra like extraterrestrial hard <laughs> all right all right i'm ready for the next one andrew are you sure you're ready i mean he's got six what he's got six points now yeah i mean like you always I, say greater comebacks have been made yeah some of them by the bills apparently <laughs> yeah the, yeah so i i i just have to get the next seven questions right here we go then so all right question number three in the medium which player led the bills in both interceptions and forced fumbles in 2012 all right i see a hand up by andrew i'm gonna give you three seconds because i feel like you prematurely hit that buzzer is it Corey graham it is not. Ah. <laughs> All right, Justin, it defers to you. I'm going to go Jairus Bird. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, I knew it. I knew it as soon as you said Jairus. I was like, oh, yeah, he went to the Saints. <laughs> you like, are, in oh. fact, correct, Justin. Oh, I am. I lost. But, hey. Don't give up. If the Bills don't give up, you don't give up. I Honestly, I feel like my perception of time is real bad especially when it comes to uh prior bills teams and i already kind of mentioned this but i've i've pretty much made an effort to almost eradicate that part of my life <laughs> or my like my memory just like oh god the dysfunction players not wanting to be here <laughs> all that stuff but see that one was kind of a, a little bit of a shot in the dark for me because i was just trying to think time frame and I think that year Jairus Bird had like 10 interceptions or something stupid like that. He, he and did that, have a lot. And that was the year before he held out and then the, the plantar fascia. I got his jersey hanging up in my closet <laughs> right now. I love that guy for a year. He definitely got knowledge. I'll give you that. Well, Thank you. let's move on to the next question. Number four. In which season did Marshawn Lynch rush for 1,500 yards? <laughs> so we established that the C.J. Spiller draft was 2012. The question is, did he do it with or without C.J. Spiller? Well, Andrew's going to take a stab at it first. Andrew. Stab at it. Give the gotta... people what they want. <laughs> I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to say 2009. Oof. <laughs> Bro, you call yourself a Bills fan? Oh. 
So, Justin, the the favor is in your court. <laughs> Give the people what they actually want. I don't know which way I want to go with this. I feel like I'm so close. I just was off by one. <laughs> Let me go. What, what year do we draft him? I'm gonna go 2013. Oof. <sighs> nah. Oof. Sorry All about right. that. I'm laughing Andrew, because if I get this wrong, I'm gonna slap myself. <laughs> hey. Back to you. 2007. Oof. Nice Oof. try. <laughs> oh. Was he on the team in 07? We're going we're going deep into the bank. I know. Justin, you're up next. And then Andrew, if it defers to you one more time, that is it. I'm going I'm gonna go twenty ten. Bigger oof. Bigger oof. Two thousand nine. You already said you that. Already said <laughs> <laughs> I just kidding. Two thousand eight. <laughs> oh wait? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Man, we suck. That is incorrect, Andrew. Alright, Justin, you got one more stab. I don't even. I don't know which way to even go. What do we say? Oh, so I don't know. Flip a coin and say a number. You got nothing to lose. Yeah, 2012. Hey! <laughs> he put up the most numbers the year we drafted Spiller. Apparently he did. There. TJ Hoosh Maju. Can, can we move on from that question? I'm not. I'm not proud of that. Oh Oof. man! Neither All I remember that. was that I incident don't... where he ran someone over or something like that downtown and they were like oh yikes gotta go like Big gotta yikes. go <laughs> and said the women in buffalo were ugly yeah well i mean what i'll say this the man spent a majority of his time in applebee's so if you're looking for <laughs> women in applebee's because there was like a new segment in buffalo where he literally got he featured loved the wings there or something yeah like and he he was so well known there he could go behind the bar and like pour his own drinks and stuff and like no one cared so if you're gonna discredit buffalo for their women i would argue that he had a skewed point of view because he spent all his time inside of an applebee's and i don't think all the women in buffalo belong in applebee's that's just not how it works okay Getting back to track. I want I want a half a point for that. Can I get a half I a don't, point? I don't want any points for that. I'm so sorry we don't do charity and trivia. Nice try, though. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so this is the last question for the medium set. And just as a little dig, <clears throat> Justin has eight points. And Andrew uh, I would like still on the board with one. You know what? I, I kind of like liked it better when you were just the intro and you <laughs> stayed there. Hey, I feel hey, like I hey. should forfeit my point from the last one. I think nobody gets credit for the last question. Nah, oh, you definitely, you definitely get it. Nah, he, he got it. He got you it. got, you got that buzzer beater. I know. Do we want to up the stakes on the third round, Andrew? No. You want to make it double point madness? No. Oh. Well, yeah. I might have yeah. a treat for you at the end, so you let's hang do. On. Yeah, let's do double point madness in round let's three. Do double point madness. Woohoo! Okay. So here we go. The last question in the medium set. What was the Bills' record in 2002? Andrew? Mm. All I know it was probably not great, so I'm going to say 4-12. and 12. Nice shot, Andrew. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of 4-12s and 12s or something like that. 0-2. Oh, 0-2. Two. Oh, two. You said so yourself that you... you Block out those. <laughs> All right, Justin, give it a shot. I'm going to take a stab here. Seven and nine. No, I'm so sorry. Can we get uh, an executive producer hint? Uh, I would like to know who the who the coach was in 02. Jake, can we provide that to them? Possibly. Give me a sec. <laughs> We're just doing some I... quick fact-checking. This is good because now I get extra time to think about this. Not like it's going to help me, but... 
I'm trying to think of what time frame we're working with here. Oh, two is a- head coach was Greg Williams. Oh, Jesus. oh God. I'm pretty Dark sure. Dark days, my friends. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure I, I I wasn't even watching Bills football at this time. So I am gonna say six and ten. Eh, wrong. Flip mine, nine and seven. Eh, wrong. Three. Three I don't wins. Want to do the hard I questions. don't know, man. We only got three. Triply wins. wrong, Andrew and Justin. You are last up. Eight, eight, eight and eight. How do you keep doing this at the very end? <laughs> I, I I knew it was somewhere around 500, but I didn't think it was 500. <laughs> <laughs> These questions, man. I'm not even around for them. Ooh. <laughs> All yeah, right. If I, was, so, if I, I think... was 12, what were you, like, four? Well, you said it was 2002. Yeah, he's probably around, yeah. what, nine? You would have been in third yeah. grade? Yeah. I just wanted you to, on air, admit that our age gap isn't as much as <laughs> you say it is. It's only three years. Three and a half. I don't know. <laughs> so boys Boy. that wraps up the medium set of questions we're going to move into the hard set and currently justin is winning by a landslide nine to one but hey but these last uh, we... questions are worth double points and all right what 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 like what level of, what is hard are you going to ask me like what brand of underwear mars levy wore like these are I, like I, I don't just might. I hope moon. you studied. I don't even know, man. Like these questions. All right, let's All go. All right, so you're gonna have to rack your brains and dig deep in the recesses of your minds for these ones, okay? All right. Now, as a reprieve, there's only three of them, but remember, they're worth double points. Hold on. It's nine to one. Yes. All right, so they got to be triple points. Oh, triple points for, for Andrew to get a shot at the trophy, he's, at the belt? He's throwing me pity. And it I'll ain't over till it's it. over. <laughs> like Don Beebe. <laughs> All righty. Now, just to be clear, let me finish the whole question before either of you raise your hands, okay? Or hit that buzzer. Here we go. What was the final score of the 2020-21 AFC Championship game? All right, Andrew. Was Your it? buzzer's in first. Was it 38 to 21? Was it? It wasn't. Oh. Sorry. We said 2020-21 the la- last year. We're talking Chiefs game? Yeah, well. You tell me, bro. We'd have to be oh, in the game boy. because it's a Bills-related question. I I haven't been able to stomach rewatching this game yet. Twenties, <sighs> maybe we're in the sixteens. Why am I thinking out loud? I'm I'm gonna say thirty-eight to sixteen. Nice try. Much. All right, back to you, Andrew. What I say first again? <laughs> <laughs> You said first, 38 All right, I'm going to say 36-24. Sorry. Yeah. All right, Justin, take it away. Was it 38? I feel like 38 is right. It's something up 38 there. 38 to... 38 to 17. Is that your final answer? Final answer. I don't have a third guess. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's incorrect. All right. 30. This is where Andrew's supposed to shine. This is the the recency bias. Yeah, it's not it's not going too hot for me. I'm going to say 38 No, I almost said this my first score again. I got to chill. <laughs> What's your gut tell you? My gut tells me that the Chiefs got 36 or 38, or maybe they got 34. I know it's for sure 34, and we're in the 20s. 
I think. And maybe, I mean, we'd have to win. Like, I think they won by, like, t technically two possessions. So I'll say Bills 24, Chiefs. No, Bills 21, Chiefs. 32. <sighs> Andrew, do you want to win? No, or are you trying to lose? Apparently not. <laughs> All the viewers out there or listeners out there are probably just like, man, this guy. Yeah, they're not hitting any <laughs> smash or like buttons today. <laughs> This is this is what I do whenever I'm listening to like a trivia thing on the radio, and I'm like, I know the answer. Like, why don't you just know that? I don't. And I got nothing yeah. now. Now that I'm in the well, seat, hey, I got just nothing. Shot in the dark, because you have the last guess. And judging by your history, you're doing pretty well by stabbing in the dark. <laughs> Thirty-four to twenty-two. Uh, no, sorry. I can't remember things like this. All right, so. Andrew, you really are going to kick yourself in the butt mm, because it was 38 Chiefs, 24 Bills. Oh. Man, you said all the numbers. You just didn't you just didn't put it together. Shot. That hurts. I know. All right, so we got to keep it moving. Our next question in the hard set. Which current Bills player has the highest Wonderlick score? Wonderlick? What is that? Uh-oh. All right, so the Wonderlick score is a test of learning and oh, aptitude. It's like an oh, IQ oh, test oh, see, for athletes. Okay, okay. I believe, Justin, I saw and heard your buzzer first. Am I correct? Uh, yeah, that would be correct. Okay. Give you it a shot. My, my guy, Josh Allen. All right, and can you name his score? Oh, nope. It was good. I don't even know what the scale is. I think it's out of 10. I think... Is it out of 10? Out of 40. Jake chiming in. Yeah, I got nothing. 30, 38. It's, it's technically... It's a score of 1 to 50. 42. <laughs> no, it's higher than that. 46. Final answer. So, it's half correct... And well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Andrew, well, first of all, that wasn't the parameters of the original question. Definitely but, so. <clears throat> but so, if, you get, if you get the number, you get the point. Oh, okay. So, yes, Justin the was correct points. with Josh Allen. Mm -hmm. And, Andrew, if you can get his actual score correct, then out of 50? you got three points coming your way. It's out of 50? Uh, it is. I'm going to say 39. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Hi, right, Justin. 48. Incorrect. 44. Incorrect. 50 burger. Nope. I think, that, uh, according to my memory, there's only been one person who's gotten a perfect score. I'm going to say... 42 but i honestly feel like i'm answering at a one consistently through this <laughs> i'm a wonder like score of a one throughout this trivia <laughs> and claire's gonna confirm it right now by telling me i'm wrong go ahead tell me i'm ready for it you are wrong <laughs> <laughs> takes so much joy in that oh man that hurt what's the number all right so the score that Josh Allen received was 37. Oh, I said... Okay. Which is above average. Average score is about in the 20s for players. I said 39. Oh, I was close. I know, but Justin said 36 I told you to go originally. Higher. And I thought he was going to go up one more. Oof. All right, boys. Last question in the hard set. Before Josh Allen, who was the... I'm sorry. I phrased that improperly. Before Josh Allen... Who was the last person to wear number 17 on the Buffalo Bills? 
Oh boy! All right, I see Andrew's. Oh, I okay. rescinded. We have I a rescinded. rescinded. <laughs> we have a rescinded buzzer. I thought you were going somewhere <laughs> else <laughs> with that. She said, "Wait till she finishes yeah, the whole question." Yeah, this is why you wait, buddy. I was like, "I got this. I got Number this." Seventeen. All right, if you're listening out there, tell me that you didn't think she was she was gonna say who was the franchise record holder before Josh Allen. I was like, Jim Kelly, smash the oh, smash yeah. the buzzer. I, I was I smash was about to buzzer. smash it for Jim Kelly too. <laughs> 17. Oh man, who so who won 17 before him? Hmm. Well, well, well. Well, I know Philip Rivers worse 17. Well, that's not I know, but he's, here. Didn't he retire? Yeah, and he's got like nine kids. A- <laughs> <laughs> One of them's bound to go into the NFL, right? Yeah, yeah, probability. I think so. Um I don't know. But maybe Justin does. I haven't raised yeah. my hand. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It's a. It's a wide receiver. Yeah. I. I. I don't know. <sighs> Here's a hint. It was a QB. It was a quarterback. It was a QB. And he made. And he was rostered on the team. Or was he like a camp body? Rostered. Quarterback wearing the number 17 outside of Josh Allen. Yikes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and not answer this because I, I don't have a valid answer for it. Um, so I believe... I believe my hand's not racing. There you believe, go. All right, Justin. I think... I think Joe Webb was 16 or 14, but I'm going to say Joe Webb. Joe Webb is incorrect. So we have an answer. You want me just to throw a name out there? Can we Can we get a year? Thad Lewis. I know that's not no. right. 2013. But, but 2013? 20, oh, well, I guess that wasn't that off then. Because I'm pretty sure Thad Lewis backed came in. Up. Yeah, he backed up Thad Lewis. Jeff Tool? No. No, I'm pretty sure he wore like number two or something. I think Jeff Tool was two or seven. Backed up Thad Lewis. And we had a backup to Thad Lewis? Jesus yeah. Christ. Dark um, days. I don't know. Justin, I see your buzzer up, but is that incorrect? Oh that that was that was previous i'm trying gotcha. to think i'm gonna say craig null no craig null you don't um, even remember null ball i mean i'm happy that i even knew the quarterback at that time which was thad lewis again um so backup jeff tool was around then too yeah i remember i just remember jeff tool they like when we were on the one yard line, and they he like threw this bomb that was completely off, uh, I think to like Stevie Johnson or something. And yeah, then but they, the graphics for Tool Time were amazing. Yeah, <laughs> and then they sent him back out there and like run the same play again, and it worked. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I give up on this. All right, Jake. Do you, or I'm sorry, Justin. Do you have one more guess? Is there an additional hint? That's up to your producer. Come on, producer. So it was 2013. It was when E.J. Manuel got hurt. He was out six to eight weeks from a knee injury. And then Thad Lewis also got hurt against the Cincinnati Bengals. So it was just Jeff Toole and this said quarterback. We had to sign him because both of our quarterbacks got injured. Talk about third string. I got, I got nothing. Yeah. Played for the so Packers. He played name. for basically everyone. But he was mainly with the Packers for three years. Oh! Well, unfortunately, Andrew, you've used up your three chances. No, give him one more. <laughs> the kid deserves it. Is it? I Watch me get this wrong, too, but is it Matt Flynn? Hey! It is! There it hey. is. Hey! Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so you are now on the board with four whole points. Good job, Let's go. buddy. Let's go. <laughs> I, forgot, 
I forgot Matt Flynn had a cup of coffee with the Bills. Justin, yeah. you're still at 10.5 points, so you're winning. And we're going to do a quick rapid-fire round of bonus questions. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay? Mm-hmm. I'm going to need and Andrew's hand to come even back have, down. Like, if you know the answer, just say it. Okay. Oh, just first answer. Yeah, let's sure. see how you, you guys do. How much are each question worth? Let's see. For you to win, they would still need to be worth at least... Two points. Each. Okay, we'll go. We'll go with two. We'll go with two then, just to make it interesting. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. How many number one overall picks have the Bills had? Two. Wrong. Andrew. Four. Yes. Oh my God, he's alive! Good I had job. To, I, I had to like. Really... I did not agree to bonus questions. <laughs> I had to right. dig deep on that. <laughs> Ready? Rapid fire. Here we go. <clears throat> In what year did the Bills adopt the current logo? 2007? Mm. Wrong. 85. Wrong. 2001? Wrong. I have, I have no idea. 2000. Wrong. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Justin? One last guess? I got, no. One last guess? Uh, 2002. Wrong. All right. The correct answer is 1974. Okay, yeah, that wasn't happening. <laughs> <laughs> My original guess was going to be 79. So. Close. Alrighty. Too bad we're not playing horseshoes. How many owners have the Bills had in franchise history? Two. God damn it. Very good. That's correct. Oh, I know. Can you name the two families? Yeah, uh, Ralph Wilson and the Bagulas. Bravo. All right, so. No bonus points for that. <laughs> so, Andrew, you're currently at eight points. Let's go. If you can squeak out this next question, you're going to be almost there with Justin, so you're going to have to get the last one right. Okay. Where is Josh Allen's alma mater? Wyoming. Wyoming. Oh, I think that's a tie. <laughs> oh, no. I won that. I, Bro. In my ears, you both worded and I heard it say Wyoming exact same time. Oh, that's see? All right. That's all right. That still means you can't beat me. All right, so 11.5 to 9. Jeez. I split the point in half. Okay. Okay, so for this last question, to make it interesting, if you can name, I'll give you a point for each answer. Can you name the numbers retired by the Bills? Hmm. (laughs) All of them? You tell me. 78. Okay, what was that? 78. Correct. 1.4, Justin. Do we go every other here? Or do I just keep going? You can just keep going. Um, 34. Yeah, go ahead. Correct. Do thing. I'm done here. Um, right, put a fork in me. <laughs> <laughs> How many are there total? I'd like to know what I'm working at here. There, there's a lot. I'm sorry, buddy. I can't tell you that. You have to tell me. Well, we know the goose is loose, so that number is still active. The goose is on the list. Uh, I'm going to go 12. Wow! Justin, you I... got all three correct. Oh, there's only three? There's oh, only three. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm thinking of the the wall of fame, like that... the names that are on the Bill Stadium. Uh, like no. that's why I was like, you want? I was like, you want me to name all those names on there? Uh, like, I'm geez. sorry, the wording got you then. But yeah, retired oh. numbers. No one's allowed to use oh, them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here, this is just a, a last bonus, but it's only for Andrew. Andrew, of the three numbers that Justin listed, can you name the corresponding players? Yeah, Bruce Smith, Softball. Thurman Thomas, and uh, Jim Kelly. Hey, I think you redeemed yourself, at least in my eyes. Justin, how about you? He he made it close down the stretch. (laughs) 
I made it interesting, that's for sure, I guess. I'm but glad I didn't say make the last bonus questions five points <laughs> each or else it would have... <laughs> I was planning on padding my stat sheet. Yeah, well, regardless, it sounds like I owe you some uh, beer, so... Some Jenny anyway, Kolsch. We wrap yeah. it up with Justin, 14.5 points, and Andrew, a respectable nine points. Uh, yeah, well, there's a huge asterisk next to mine, <laughs> so we'll forget about that, but I think that's going to wrap it up for this week's episode. Next week, we're going to talk about the Buffalo Bill schedules and our takeaway from it. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and review our podcast. It would greatly be appreciated. And again, go and check out the Built in Buffalo Podcast Network as well. Again, you can find them on social media, podcasting platforms, and even on YouTube, by searching Built in Buffalo, or you can search us the same way by searching the Wanderer Buffalo podcast. Justin, where can the people find you? Oh, first of all, I want to thank Claire for assisting us in this exercise tonight. Mm-hmm. It's good chatting with you. Thank uh, you. You can find me. You're welcome. You can find me on social medias at jgods22, and then, like Andrew said, um, Built in Buffalo. We're going to be out there. Really excited with that with that uh, partnership going forward. Yes, yes, and you can find my, I guess, now shameful Bill's Fandemonian self <laughs> on social media by searching Two Changs. It's it's been, I guess, a fun night for you, Justin. For me, yeah, not I so had a blast. much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do want to thank Clara, the voice of the podcast, again. The next time you'll hear her, she'll just be in the intro, and uh, maybe we'll just leave her there because. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're, we definitely got to have you back, Claire. Hey, hey, so, hey, don't forget, if there's any challengers out there, to Justin's knowledge, hit them up. Oh, yeah, What's that could up? be something. All Let's right. Well, uh, Claire, I think you can just sign us off by saying the one thing that we need to hear. You're now not listening to the Wandering Buffalo podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess that works. Go Bills is what I was looking Bills. for. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that, I like that. <laughs> Go Bills. Go Bills.